Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is Joint Product Costing Net Realizable Values, or NRV, of the products. So first of all, what is Joint Product Costing? Some manufacturing plants yield more than one product from a common research input. This is called a joint production process. For instance, pork, beef, uh, chicken, uh, tuna, uh, oil and gas, and so on. We have a lot of examples here. Joint products are products from a joint production process that have re relatively substantial sales value and products whose total values are values, sorry, are minor in comparison to the sales value of the joint products are classified as by products. Joint products and by products start their their manufacturing life as part of the same raw material, so up until a certain point, no distinction can be made between the products. And byproducts differ from joint products in that the sales value of the byproduct is somewhat lower than of the joint products, usually much lower. The point in a joint production process at, what, at which individual products can be identified for the first time is called the split off. Point. And joint costs include all manufacturing costs incurred prior to the split off point. After that, it's just like a job or process costing as usual. And after the split off points, the costs are called separable processing costs. We have four methods. So we have four videos here, one for each method, and they are all in our video description. We have physical measures sales value, and the most used one, that is this video, net realizable values or NRV of the products, and the last one, constant loss margin percentage method. So let's go to our Excel file. If you are a regular here, you already know that. If you are not, I want to let you know that all of our Excel files, they are free, and the link to download it is in our video description. So let's delete it here. Yes, let's delete it here. Yeah. So we have tuna, 85,000 pounds, $98,000 the cost. We have two products, uh, tuna fillet and canned tuna, 20,000 pounds for the first one, 50 for the second one. We have a byproduct here, cat food. However, we need uh, additional costs. We need processing costs here. And then other byproducts, scrap and waste that we will not be selling. So what do we have here? So first of all, we need to delete this info here. We will not be using it. So our physical measure, tuna fillets, 20, canned tuna, 50, cat food, 5. And the total is the sum here, 75,000 pounds. Our selling prices, 250, 180, and two. So our sales revenue, 20 times selling price, $50,000. Let's go and paste here, 90 and 10. And here, that's why it is a, a byproduct. Our sales revenue is much lower. And we need, Additional processing, tuna fillets, nothing. Canned tuna, nothing. Cat food, 1500. And the sum will be $1,500. So here, net realizable value is the sales value less additional processing. And for the first two products, it will be the same. However, for the last one, it will be $8,500 instead of $10,000. And then our total here will be $148. And then the percentage here, 50 divided by 148. Let's fix it. 34. Let's copy and paste the formula, 61 and 6%. So the allocate cost of this one will be 
98 times the percentage will be here the allocate cost. It will be these numbers here 30, almost 33, almost 50, and 60, uh, 56 hundred and our total will be the same 98 here so our total cost it will be the allocated cost this 98 times plus our processing cost with the same here let's open paste we will have difference only on the cat food so our total cost here it will be 99.5 it is 98 plus 1500 and our cost per pound total cost divided by physical measure 1.55 1.19 1.42 so why this is the most used method usually we add it, we add some byproducts here and we consider some additional Costs. We consider our processing costs here. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. Oh, and here, uh, additional uh, explanation about the net realizable value that we already have in our Excel file. So this is additional explanation if you need to. So I will leave it here for some, for some seconds. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping.com. And please subscribe our channel, like our video, like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarping. Guys, have a very nice day and God bless you.